Yeah, so George E. Marcus has written chapter number seven in Writing Culture. And he is the co-editor of this book. And his chapter is called Contemporary Problems of Ethnography in the Modern World System. And what is meant by that is a bit like ethnographers have traditionally been focused on the small community. But Marcus wants us to connect them to the larger systems that rule our world. And uh, he takes up various ways to do this. But first of all, he says that when the world became industrialized and modern, various art forms had to deal with that and they dealt with it by coming up with experimental art forms. This happened in theater and it happened in novels, but it hasn't happened in ethnographies yet. And um, so that's what uh, he calls for. And he says that um, there are two ways to do this, basically. The first one is to do a multimodal ethnography where you do research in various places that are connected to each other in some way. But the problem with that is that all places are connected in one way or the other. Uh, he takes the example of tea prices in China, which may be connected to mental health in the US and so on. So the way to solve that is to focus on a certain theory or a certain way to explain the world and go to various places and apply this theory there. And thereby you can be able to say something interesting or disprove it or prove it or something like that. But the other way he suggests is to have a strategically situated ethnography where you, have, you, you do a local ethnography but you have chosen a community that is relevant for the larger system that you are researching or that you want to say something about. And um, maybe I can concretize this by giving a couple of examples that I thought about when I was reading it. In the first case, for example, there I would want to mention Mark Caron's work on the market where he has been at the stock exchange in Addis Abeba but he has also been at various other places but whatever he does everything is connected to, uh, to investigating the, the market. And um, a good example of the second way would be Michael Fish's ethnography on the train commuter system in Tokyo. He wants to say something about the world that we live in and he thinks that the Tokyo network epitomizes certain things in the capitalist world in a very good way. The bulk of the chapter is his analysis of uh, a book by Paul Willis. What is it called? Labor, learning, the la learning to labor. Uh, it's about 12 teenage boys who, are, who belong to the working class in the UK. Marcus points out three conceptual moves in Paul Willis. The first is that um, Willis shows that culture is a response to structure. Culture is nothing that already exists. Culture emerges as a response to oppressive structures, for example. And uh, the second conceptual move is the ethnographer as a midwife, because uh, Paul Willis sort of, he doesn't use the words of these boys when he writes his theory, but he sort of drags it out of them and uh, like a midwife that delivers a baby. And... Um, this is uh, akin to the psychoanalyst that we talked about in the last chapter, actually. So, um, yeah, there are various criticisms to this, of course. Is he, is he uh, interpreting too much and so on? I was more interested in the beginning of this chapter, actually. But um, even so, that was chapter 7 and we'll continue with Michael Fisher in the next chapter.